Hi, my name is Mike Waters with SOR Controls Group. We want to talk today about one of our newest product lines, Sensor Sampling Systems. Sensor is an engineered solutions product line that we design to assist our customers in extracting product samples for processes which would be hazardous to either the environment or the operator if the fugitive emissions associated with the sampling process were allowed, were allowed to be released. We manufacture systems that are designed to take both liquid samples, vapor samples, as well as high vapor pressure liquids, and we're going to talk about one of those systems today. This is our LGSS. It's a system designed to extract a sample into a sample cylinder under safe conditions for the operator and for the environment. Talk a little bit about some of the characteristics that are common to all of our sampling systems. When we set about to design a new sampler, we have a couple of criteria in mind that must be common to all, all system types. One is we want to have continuous flow through the sample station because we want to arrive at a representative sample. By representative sample, I mean it has to represent what's actually flowing through the process line at that point in time. And we accomplish that by continuous flow through the sampling system. Second criteria that we always keep in mind is the sampling process has to result in no dead volume and no emissions uh, to the environment or to the operator. And we'll talk about how we accomplish that with the LGSS. Okay, let's take a look at the components uh, that make up our LGSS sampling systems for liquids with high vapor pressure. High vapor pressure means that the vapor that's naturally entrained in the liquid wants to escape and change state and in order to prevent that and retain its liquid state we have to contain the sample and the process under very high pressure. So you can see the typical sample receptacle is a cylinder. Now in the field you'll hear people refer to this as a sample cylinder or a sample bomb. Both phrases mean the same thing. This particular unit shows an example of a 500 milliliter, uh, 500 milliliter cylinder. We can accommodate any size, any configuration of sample cylinder that is required by our customer. One of the things we always talk about is simplicity of design. The more simple a sample system is to use, the safer it is because there's less opportunity for an operator to uh, uh, inappropriately use the system or incorrectly go through a sampling sequence. So you can see we have a single handle operation design, clearly labeled bypass and sample, a single valve to vent, and then quick disconnects which contain our cylinder. So let's take a look at how this system works. Okay, so this is a flow diagram that demonstrates exactly the flow loop uh, that's on the sample panel that we just looked at. So let's take a look at how this thing works. So under normal conditions, we're flowing in through the import, out through the sample valve. This is a four-way sample valve. Under normal condition, these two ports are common and these two ports are common. So remember we said we want to be continuously flowing through the sample panel and that way we always have a representative sample at that sample point. So we're flowing in through the bottom port, out through the left port. When you turn that single handle that I showed you from bypass to sample, now these two ports are common and these two ports are common. So we're flowing through that in port, now we're flowing up through the system, through the cylinder, we'll now pick up system pressure on the PI, we'll see the flow come through that site flow indicator and then back out. So we're continuously circulating through this system. Now why do you think we flow up through the sample cylinder for a liquid application? It's because if there's any entrained gas in the system, we want to flush that out and return it to the process line before we take a sample. So let's go back through. We're flowing up through the cylinder and back out. Now, turn that same valve from sample back to bypass and what's happened? Now these two ports are common again and these two ports are common. So we're still flowing through the system, but now we've trapped this loop liquid full. Mm -hmm. So we've captured a sample. Now, 
one of the things that's that's characteristics of L, characteristic of LPGs is again it wants to change state if if the uh, pressure pressure reduces and if we extract this sample cylinder and we remove it when it's full of that liquefied petroleum gas if there is any change in temperature because the LPG is a non-compressible medium it's going to expand there's no place to expand it's going to either rupture those cylinder valves or rupture the entire cylinder so the traditional means of ensuring against that is to create an outage in that cylinder so we want to create an outage in the cylinder so that it can be transported safely back to the laboratory for analysis now in the old days you know what people used to do with the sample cylinder in order to get an outage literally they would crack that valve and just turn away and allow some of the LPG to gas off to the atmosphere and that's how they would create an outage well obviously we can't do that today both for safety reasons as well as environmental regulatory reasons another way that people uh, guarantee an outage is by using a cylinder with a dip tube inside and a dip tube is an internal tube that allows you to to measure an outage and and release downstream from that tube and you can get an outage. Now those things are complex so we designed a system that was designed to uh, eliminate the requirement for that dip tube. Now, by the way, everything I just described to you, all those operating procedures are listed here. These are etched on a tag and included on the front of the panel, again, for operator safety and ease of use. Okay, so we took a look at the sample loop. Now let's go back to the panel and see those components on the panel itself. So here's that single valve. You can see clearly labeled bypass and sample. So remember the operation. When I, if I'm an operator and I come to the panel, I move from bypass to sample. Then here's that four-way valve. So remember, we were flowing in and out. Now we're flowing in through the braided hose, up through the cylinder, and we'll see system pressure on the PI. Now, here's a quick question for you what happens if the operator walked up and forgot to open the cylinder valve so they're not flowing through the system you're not going to see system pressure on the pressure gauge on the front so that's quick check to know that you have flow through the system of course you'll also see that through the site flow indicator here so we're flowing through the system again we'll get system pressure here we'll see that flow through the site flow indicator and then we're flowing back out through the bypass turn the system to bypass and again we've trapped our system liquid full here's that vent valve by which we'll create the outage you'll see it in the site flow indicator close that valve back close your cylinder valves and now we can remove the cylinder and safely transport it back to the laboratory a couple things on the panel let's take a look at these phenolic pieces are called cylinder saddles and let me just angle this if you can see that upper saddle is about 330 degrees complete that's so when the cylinder is installed it holds it securely in place and guides it directly onto that upper quick disconnect so that you don't get any movement, lateral movement with the cylinder which would prematurely wear the seals in the quick disconnect. Just as good operating practice, we typically recommend that when the cylinder is removed, take that lower quick disconnect, connect it to the top and now you still have a closed system even when out of operation and if for any reason some worm were to come up and turn that system to sample <clears throat> excuse me even if the seal and the quick disconnect failed you're now flowing through the system and flowing safely so now we've gone through the safe operation and a little bit about the features and benefits of the sensor LGSS sampling system this is one of several types of sampling systems we manufacture for LPGs for vapor for liquids and even for high viscosity material like tar or asphalt. We look forward to working with you and your customers to define their sampling requirements and design systems that very specifically and very expertly meet their needs.
Thanks for listening.